everyone. Thank you for being here to listen to my talk. I've been assigned to the Cordoba Argentina mission and I've recently been reassigned to the Utah Salt Lake City mission. Um, and I'm going to be at the home MTC starting this August 4th. Um, time has flown by. I can't, can't believe how fast it's gone by. Uh, I can still remember when I was a little primary aged boy singing, I hope they call me on a mission. And uh, now that I have been called on a mission, I'm glad for all the fantastic primary teachers, scout leaders, young men leaders, seminary teachers, bishops, friends, and family members that have helped shape me into the person I've become today. I am very grateful for the encouragement that they gave me while I pursued my goals. And I've learned and grown so much from those who have helped me navigate through the through these last 18 years, and I thank all of them for the priceless gifts that they have given me. Uh, another thing that's helped me become the person I am today is the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'd like to talk about how the gospel has influenced my life and helped me in preparation of becoming a missionary. I've been blessed to have been born to two amazing parents, and they both have strong testimonies of the gospel. My mom and dad have taught me in the gospel and have always encouraged me to gain my own testimony. And um, I'm very thankful for what they have given me and what I've been able to learn from their fantastic examples in the home, in church, and in public. Because of the examples that they set, I grew up knowing that I wanted to be like them. Honest, charitable, kind, <clears throat> thankful, thoughtful, obedient, in tune with the spirit, and happy. They set me on a path to learn how to develop those attributes and to become closer to my Savior. Because I was raised in the church, I've always known and I've always believed in God. Um, I've always believed that he would help me. However, I've had my fair share of times that I wanted to question whether God would listen to me or if he was even there at all. Uh, <clears throat> because I was taught growing up that Satan would use these thoughts of doubt to try and get me to move away from God, um, I knew that the best way to counter these attacks was to keep my faith. As I've learned in seminary, the one of the steps to get more spiritual knowledge to answer my questions is to act in faith. I've seen time and time again that when I act in faith, I, uh, I find the answer to my questions and gain an even, even greater testimony that God is there. He hears my prayers. And although things may seem a bit tough or confusing in the moment, uh, he has a plan. The perfect plan, a plan of happiness, salvation, and redemption. A couple years ago, <clears throat> I was struggling with a school assignment. Uh, I had left most of it for the night before, and as many know, that's a great recipe for stress, anxiety, and some regret. I got to a point where I was so stressed with it that I could not do anything else. I had to leave the computer and vent. I prayed to God, asking him to take it all away. <clears throat> to take away my assignment, my stress, my worries, and make it all easy. I knelt there. Sorry. I knelt there, thinking about how dumb it was. I was asking God to remove my whole assignment. And after a while, I started to calm down. I felt the spirit comforting me and helping me to stop crying. Uh, I picked myself up and I was able to go and finish my assignment. Although I didn't recognize the message that I received right away, I, whenever I look back on that memory, I can feel the spirit's message of you did that and you brought that on yourself. But you can do this. You are strong and smart enough to finish this. So get up and go back to work. Uh, I look back on that memory often and I remember the feelings of peace and comfort that came after I turned to God. The faith that I've developed through my life has helped me to learn that when I can't see the way, God can. And he has all the answers I need. 
Uh, because of experiences like this, I turn to God and listen for his voice in the matter. I don't always receive the answer I expect or the answer I want, but I decide to follow his counsel. Before coronavirus hit, I was dead set on going on a mission after high school, before I went to college. <clears throat> when everything started to get shut down, I was presented with a choice. To serve a mission now, as soon as conditions would permit, or wait 12 to 18 months to serve my mission. The effects of COVID jarred me a bit. I never expected that school would get cut short or I'd miss my last season of volleyball. And I never expected to become so unsure whether I wanted to serve my mission now or later. I wanted to serve the Lord, but that did not change, but I had no idea what I was going to choose. I decided to pray about it, and much to my surprise, I felt very strongly that I needed to serve now. I went ahead with the whole process, and I felt the Spirit confirming to me that this was the choice I was supposed to make. I have faith that the Lord knows where I'm supposed to be going, and I'm leaving it in His hands. The atonement of Jesus Christ is something that I'm very grateful for. Without the infinite and eternal sacrifice our Savior has made, none of us would have been able to qualify for exaltation with our Heavenly Father. As Elder Neil L. Anderson said, repentance isn't the backup plan, it is the plan. God took this knowledge of our imperfection and created a plan for us to come to earth to be tested and still be able to return, have a way to return to Him. I've relied on the redeeming power of the atonement many times in my life. And I'm nowhere near perfect, but thanks to our Savior, I can be one day. When I make mistakes, I love being able to turn back to the Lord and becoming clean again. Whenever I repent, I can feel the Spirit come back in my life. I have felt the presence of the Spirit leave me before, and that was a very dark feeling. I couldn't even go to sleep till I'd pleaded with my father to beg for forgiveness. When I felt the Spirit come back into my life, peace came as well. Experiences like these have helped develop my testimony and reliance on the Savior, and I am very grateful for them. And I wish to be able to share the joy and peace that comes with the companionship of the Holy Ghost with those I come in contact with on my mission and in my life. The atonement has blessed me so much and it can bless all of us if we trust in our Savior and rely on his saving grace. The companionship of the Holy Ghost is a blessing that God's children receive when they have been baptized. I still remember the warm feeling in my chest when I was baptized. After I was baptized, I was confirmed and I was given the gift of the Spirit. <coughs> Having the influence of the Spirit in my life has blessed me and helped me to make my decisions with a greater ability to discern good from evil. I've, re I've relied on the Spirit to make my many decisions in life, <coughs> such as where to attend high school or when to, when to serve my mission. I've also relied on the Spirit for comfort in my life many times. I love that when I'm feeling down, I have the Spirit there to comfort me, to calm me down, or to help me move past my trials. The Holy Ghost's presence has helped me confirm many, has helped confirm many things in my life, and my my testimony of the gospel has been enlarged through the witness of the Spirit. And I want to share the gift of the gospel and the Spirit of God with those I teach. I love the Savior and His gospel. I'm a much better person because of it. I want to teach others about the joy that it brings when we choose to follow the Savior. In the last 18 years of my life, I have come to see how much I can progress with the Savior as my guide and how much God has blessed me with. I know that I still have much to learn and that the gospel of, of Christ will help me endure to the end. I know that with God's help, anything is possible and that through the Savior, I can make it back to the presence of God. I know that the gospel is true I know that the Savior died for us, 
and that we can be clean again from the infinite and eternal sacrifice that he's made for us. I know that Joseph Smith was a prophet of God and that he restored the true gospel to the earth. I know that God the Father and his Son appeared to him in the sacred grove and he was the one who had the authority to restore the keys back to the earth in this final dispensation. I know that President Nelson is God's prophet on the earth today and that he has the authority to receive revelation for the world. I love this gospel. I'm grateful for all the things that I've been given because of it. And I say these things in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.